so guys the shrink wrap modifier is mainly used for attaching something on an uneven surface so let's see how can we use it let's select both of the planes tap to edit mode as you can see one have lots of geometry and one have only four points let's go back to object mode and select the one with four points now go to modifier tab then search for shrink wrap modifier suppose we want to place our plane on the surface of this sphere so for that go to target click on the eyedropper tool and select the target but our plane is gone let's go to wireframe view as you can see when we trying to move it all the four points are trying to attach with the nearest surface points it seems like totally useless for us but where can we use it we can use it on a flat surface let's change the target to this flat surface cube let's go to material preview let's change our target select the eyedropper tool select the cube seems like now it's working totally attached to the surface of the cube but why we are having this problem if we go to wireframe view then the front view as you can see that our plane is taking the same space as the top face of the cube so what's the solution it's really simple change the offset value 0 0.001 see our problem is gone because our plane now 0 0.001 meter above the surface of the cube so if our surface is flat we can easily use our low poly planes like this let's hide our four point plane let's select the second plane as you can see it's have lots of geometry let's try the same thing again select the plane modifier tab shrink wrap modifier eyedropper tool select our target same error let's increase the offset 0 0.001 now as you can see that our plane is totally attached to the surface of the sphere but why we have this uneven repose if we check the shrink wrap modifier there is several wrap method and one of them is nearest surface point if we go to wireframe view if we examine here as you can see that our plane is trying to attach with the nearest surface point of the sphere let's select another one nearest vertex as you can see now it's sharp because it's trying to attach to the nearest vertex let's go to wireframe view as you can see attaching to the nearest vertex that's why it's sharp let's select another one and this will give you the best result target normal project see and our last method project seems like there is nothing happening to see the effect select the plane and now try to move it it's like putting a cloth let's go to wireframe view see wrapping around the surface but we cannot able to see this portion of our plane so let's go to offset let's make it zero same position as the sphere surface let's change again minus 0 0.005 let's move it see that's how the project method works now suppose we want to use the sphere bottom as surface so for that select the plane now change from positive to negative see now there is another cool thing let's duplicate the sphere select the plane again auxiliary target let's select the second sphere now let's try to move the plane see it's cool right the last thing in project method is the axis x y and z as we know from the indicator this way is x this way z and this way is y so let's select the x first axis x see the shrink wrap modifier behavior is totally changed now let's select the y see y axis and the last one z axis seems like we have problem disable y so where can we use the shrink wrap modifier as you can see we have a face here it's a plane lots of geometry select the plane go to modifier tab then search for shrink wrap let's target the sphere 
seems like it's not wrapping properly let's change the wrapping method target normal project change the offset 0.005 s2 scale see see we have our face also you can experiment with the snap methods as you can see now we have on surface let's go to wireframe view let's change it to a higher value so now our snap method is on surface let's change it to inside as you can see now our plane is inside the sphere by 0 0.05 meter let's go to another snap mode outside let's change the location and see what we have let's change to outside surface almost same as on surface as you can see there is no change that much mainly on surface outside surface and above surface they almost behave like same so just try to experiment with them also you can check my floating object and ocean with volume or depth tutorial where I used the sync rep modifier. So thank you guys, see you on the next tutorial.